Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to warn you now, this is a land video. This is another land video because I am fucking sick of this rioting, this smashing stuff up in Britain. I'm fucking done with it. And I am near happy bunny. I'm telling you now, I'm near that fucking happy bunny. Because these fuckers... I absolutely fucking hate them for who, whatever they want to fucking do. This is not what Black Lives Matter should be about. Fucking hell. And we are going to be talking about that fucking thing that happened in Bristol. Where that statue got knocked down. I'm going to show you the video here of the statue being knocked down. Then we're going to talk about it after that. Because it's quite important to what I'm going to talk about the rest of this video. Now, I know the statue represents Edward Coulson. Yeah, I know he did slave trading and all. But the thing is, I hope you better take down the... If you're going to take down his name, I hope you're prepared to take down the rest of the town. Because... From the wealth that he did the trading on, which some of it was from the loyal African... Trading Corporation thing. Yes, that was true. But most of Bristol and most of the English cities and Scottish cities and Welsh cities benefited from the fucking slave trade. Get through that, you fucking heads. Does no one realise back then the slave trade was quite fucking profitable? You could get a slave trade done and you could be quite wealthy. Right? You could be actually quite wealthy. You could trade with materials, ships, blah -de blah anything you could want. Slaves were just that specialty. But then again, we're just fucking racist, aren't we? But it's not like Britain was the first country to abolish shit. And it's not like America decided to go for a civil fucking war over them, eh? Nah, that never fucking happened, did it? Fucking stupid pricks. The man, thing that's said about Black Lives Matter? I've actually looked them up. Fuck them. Honestly, fuck them. But I don't think these people were actually Black Lives Matter protest. And I think the uh, people who are investigating about that statue being knocked down, which I've still got to cover, that was just... They they know, I think they know that it wasn't Black Lives Matter members. But, you still got stupid fucking people down there. Because you saw them all climbing on top of them like, Oh my god, we knocked down a statue! Oh my god, what did you achieve? Fuck all! You achieved fuck all! All everyone is looking at is a bunch of fucking hooligans knocking down statues and government property. How long has that statue been there for? Over a hundred years. What fucking diseases could be on that? And then you chuck it into the fucking river? That's an environmental issue you've just pissed them all off about. There goes all your climate change folk for chucking old rusty metal. If it was made from metal, it could be made from anything. We didn't know where the fuck it came from. We could have came from piss cauldrons if that were we fucking know. But you, you've, if you're prepared to take down the statue, you better be prepare, prepared to take down the entire city, right? Because the economic wealth that was built for Manchester, Glasgow, Edinburgh, London, Bristol, Manchester. I think I said that one. And Liverpool and lots of the coastal and big cities in the UK thrived from that economy. Because at the same time, we were booming. We had a fucking empire and everything. That was fucking great. 
yeah, the slave trade wasn't the fucking good idea, but you think we were all happy about it? Some people even bought slaves so they didn't have to be slaves. They were like, like, you can bide in the hoose. Like, you're still associated with me, but you've got more freedom than the actual fucking slaves do. You don't have to fucking give them slavery jobs. Some of them actually did that. Not all Brits are pricks. And, you know, it wouldn't be anything like that if someone decided to, I don't know, share every single location where the slave trade legacy was fucking at. Would it? Like the SMP member Richard Lockhead, which said, Oh, I'm just going to show a map of, like it says in Northern Scott here, Richard Lockhead, important to learn the Mully slave trade legacy. Right, so that's just, you know, let's just tell everyone where the slave trade owners were. Oh, yeah, there were a few in Mully. Do you not think these fucking activists or hooligans or fucking Antifa, which I believe is the ones who took it down. Do you think they're not going to go to these places and think, right, so these guys in Mully, they did this as well. Well, we better fucking burn their houses doing too, eh? Because they slave trade people, so we burn their stuff doing. They don't give a shit about people. You don't fucking care, do you, you assholes? And, like I was saying, the police... Well, not the police, sorry. Um, th I think this was organised. There was no way this was organised. They had chains, they had ways of towing it down. They pulled it down, they fucking did everything. And it was actually the police there had known this was going on. But let's go and watch the video where the police get actually looked at. See, why did they not do anything about it? Honestly, it doesn't fucking surprise me. But here we go. Here's what the police said about the incident. You're not going to be surprised, I know that. He's been a historical figure that has caused the black community quite a lot of angst over the last couple of years. So whilst I am disappointed that people would, would damage one of our statues, I do understand why it's happened. It's very symbolic. You might wonder why we didn't intervene and why we uh, just allowed people to put it in the docks. We made a very tactical decision that to stop people from doing that act may have caused further disorder and we decided the safest piece to do in terms of our policing tactics was to allow it to take place. Should you have stopped this happening? Should you have protected the statue? So our policing style was from the outset low key. We were not able to get to the statue in time to protect it. And once it had actually been toppled, now it was clearly a pre-planned uh, attempt to bring that down. They had grappling ropes and they had, uh, and they had the right tools. So once it was down, we made a decision. The right thing to do was just to allow it to happen because what we did not want is tension. Some people will say that maybe that was the wrong strategy, that you should have intervened, intervened and, and challenged this behaviour. So I understand why people might think that we should have intervened and challenged, but this was a very difficult policing operation. There's a lot of context that sits around it, and I believe we did the right thing. No regret. Oh boy. How fucking stupid this is half the sound. Fucking hell. I am actually really worried for the police department. I mean, what the fuck's it gonna take for them to take consideration and do your fucking job? Does this policeman nay understand his job is to look after people and government property? Does he not understand how to do his job? Maybe he doesn't. Maybe all the police should get a fucking kick in the ass, because it's not like that's the first thing that's been going long. And it's like, this was a fairly intense operation. Was it? Was it? Because I don't think it's that fucking hard to stop them, but they, they seem to be very fucking aware that they had tools and that, they had things to take it down, and they pulled it down, and they, they fucking let them. You're the police. Ugh. Fucking hell. Like, we don't want to cause disorder. You're the police. You're there to give our order. It's your fucking job description. Thank fuck I didn't join the police, eh? Actually, thank fuck I'm not in charge of the country. I'll be fucking on them like a ton of blicks. 
and nobody would be happy with that. Fuck me. But what the what this symbolizes is the it's actually it's kind of like what ISIS does. Like when you take down like I'll repeat myself. When you take down a statue, you're taking down one property of the government, two history. Good or bad, we should be allowed to show what history is. Why do you think nobody is knows anything about these? He's a slave trader. He estimated over 84,000 slaves. You won't say there was countless buildings, town halls, schools, loads made after the same fucking guy who that statue was for. You, you won't research who the fuck the guy is, because the schools won't tell them anything. That's a land of school, but fucking hell, it's stupid. You won't tell them anything, because you don't want to offend them. Fucking hell. And, like I was saying, it's history. Like, I don't like when that thing Richard Lockhead said you, or those 21 addresses... That is just giving a fucking target for people who like like this person did this in this town, so we're gonna burn the fucking thing down or we're gonna damage it or something. You're activating for people to cause violence. I would never want someone to be hurt, but I'll fucking call them out for being an asshole or doing something wrong. Fucking hell. And what is this actually gonna achieve? Sorry, I'll go back to the thing. History. I respect history so, so much. And on the same day this was going on, we were trying to remember the first um, suffragette movement. Like the one of the women who died, I believe, one of the suffragettes. That's real fighting back suffragettes. Not this. Yeah, they might be called vandalism and that, but this... Is fucking vandalism. If you take down the history, good nor bad, we should be allowed to talk about it. Because if you, this is George Orwell, isn't it? We're turning back to this. If you decide to rewrite your own history, you know it doesn't matter anymore. Because if you, if people think they can rewrite their own history and just erase everything else and just copy with some shite they can make up. All these stupid people lefties are just going to believe it, and it's going to be George Orwell's fucking world all over again. And nobody wants that. It's actually kind of what ISIS did when they were in power for a wee while back, where they just destroyed everything history. I mean, this was like a hundred years ago of the statue being torn down. That's only a hundred or so years ago. That's different. But when they did it out in the Middle East, that was thousands of years of history, culture, destroyed because one ideology just hated its own history. You should never be allowed to do that. It's long. <coughs> but again, a heart attack here. But it's fucking long. We should never take these things down. And for you people out there who think you're doing a great job, Tearing things down, destroying stuff. You've got another thing coming, son. You want the people to be on your side? Do it peacefully. We know it's not the easiest thing in the world to try and deal with reality. But don't fucking destroy everything. Because no one is going to listen to violence and hooligans and thugs. I'm done. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And the number, hail the empire.